So a little bit about my entrepreneur journey, kind of how it all kicked off. I always had that bug and that itch to want to do something more. And I realized I was in positions as far as career that I was being paid for the position and not the person. Mm -hmm. And I came to that realization when I was sitting down in a meeting. And this is a Monday morning sales meeting. I was a consultant for a large Fortune 500 company. And when I realized there was no authenticity, everybody's clapping, fake, everything was just untrue. And I just saw mm. such a facade and they're just shoving this product down people's throats. And it really irritated me to the point that I got up, I walked out of the, uh, that, uh, that office, I called my corporate office and I called my boss and said, you know what, I'm out, I quit. Wow. And you know, he's like, well, what are you gonna do? And I said, I really don't know. But I knew I knew enough to start my own company in technology. So kind of with that being said, I walked out. I remember calling my wife and said I quit. And I was thinking she was going to cuss me. I said, what the hell's wrong with you? You walked away from six figure salary. What, this, what are you smoking? But she said, you know what? About damn time. So very supportive. Very, supportive. very, very supportive. So, you know, super important to have supportive people around you as an entrepreneur. So what I ended up doing is I sat there for about a week. I thought about what I wanted to do. And I said, you know what? I'm a technology guru. I understand all kinds of sorts of technology, cloud technology, blockchain, all this good stuff. And I was like, I can go sell this. I can start a technology company. And that's basically how it all started. And that's how I was born as an entrepreneur.